Are you serious? It's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Right now, you are killing some time with I, Marcus Bronzy. And he, Nicholas Bright. And him. I want to do that one show thing that you were saying, Nick, where I introduce you. Like, And you, it's him, Nick Bright. You go... You're listening to How to Kill an Hour with Marcus Bronzy and Nick Bright. That's how they do the one show because they're mad cheesy. But I'm Marcus and he's Nick. But they don't explain that because it's TV so you can see it. Yeah, you can see it and one's a man and one's a woman. Although the woman's called Alex. So, you know, I mean... How very 21st century. Yeah, but I mean the dude is called Matt. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, So, Nick, kill a bit for this week. We've been sent some stuff. Uh, one of them is a Mophie case. For years, I want to apologise for mispronouncing Mophie cases. Yeah, because I didn't know that until right now that it was called Mophie. Yeah, we've been throwing in an extra letter somewhere and calling it something else. But we won't ever do that again, Mophie. Promise. I swear down. Mophie from now on. Mophie for life. M- Mophie for the mofos. Mophie, Mophie mofos. Yeah. Um. So Mophie sent us a charge, a juice pack. Yep. Uh, and a couple of charging docks, one for the car, one for the house. What made these exciting are um, the juice pack claims to give you approximately 25 hours extra. And a juice pack is, for those that don't know, if you don't know, you put a case on your phone and the case is a bit thicker and holds a charge. Yeah. Seen them before. Yeah, my girlfriend's got one. Yeah, so yeah. she's got one and, and it's kind of useful. She travels a lot, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's useful if you're going to get on a plane, go somewhere, you kind of know... The, all right, I've got two battery charges or I've got three battery charges and, 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 and Mofi have been doing this for a while. And it's connected to your phone as well. So obviously, like, rather than... Because you can buy a battery mm-hmm. pack or whatever, but, like, it's an extra thing that you need to bring, whereas yeah. this is a case for your phone. So it's already plugged in. There's just a little switch on the back that you flick and then exactly. boom. Exactly. And this, like, the newer uh, charging packs that you get for phones is intuitive. So you plug it in through the charger the charger charges your fo- the you plug it in through the device so you, the device fits around your case and this is the this same case with this Mophie one that I'm about to explain that um you plug into it and it charges the phone first before charging the case even though you're plugging in the into the case yeah. which is kind of clever cuz yeah. you want your phone to be charged at all times um so yeah the thing that makes this exciting though is this juice pack air charges with a cord or charges wirelessly with the charging base that they sent. So you just, there's a little pad and you drop your phone onto it and it starts to charge. And the it charges is, the case. I'm, I'm, I'm interested because I haven't, I haven't tested this out. So I'll have to ask you, Marcus. Is the charging pad as good as charging it with the wire? I don't know. I really don't know. For me, I couldn't tell the difference. Right. I wasn't, I didn't notice it, it was, it was a bad charge or a good charge, but I did have one, one was because they also gave me a charge force vent mount, which is basically, where you, it's the same thing, but instead of it sitting on the side next to your bed, you can plug it into the vent in your car. And uh, as well as it being wireless, it's got a little magnet in it as well. So you can walk into the car and just dock your phone by throwing it at the, I, I, you don't have to throw it, but I was kind of doing yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, effect. like, like yeah. <laughs> just dash it. <laughs> bang. Dash it, goes bang. Stick your phone to it and it starts charging. Now, Does it stick to it decent though? Because like the road, I mean, the bare speed bumps in West London, you know. You know me on the roads, isn't it, Nick? Yeah. yeah like, I know how to handle the road. Yeah, it was fine. Magnet was pretty strong. Off. Magnet was good, man. Okay. It was not, not an issue at all. Um, but I did, in my car, I can either charge it through the cigarette not like anyone even smokes in their car you know that like cigarette thing you plug it in there you can charge it through that or I've got like a drip charge that carries that plugs into my stereo and that never charges your phone as quickly yeah but I figured out I could plug in my phone um, I could plug that in and and it t- I could tuck the, the wires away a bit neater and throw my phone onto the thing there and I did notice the charge was a bit slower but I don't think that was because of the Mophie I think that's because it was a drip charge coming from my stereo but, uh, in short no right okay no. No. Um, and I did have a weekend where I charged everything up on Friday and I didn't need to charge my phone again until Sunday. But I okay. wasn't using my phone a lot. I'm not the biggest, I'm not hot on the Snapchat all the time. Okay. Um, so you charged up your phone on Friday, took it for a drink on Saturday. I'm just like reworking the lyrics. Didn't need to charge it till Sunday. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's good case. Um, I enjoyed it. Wireless charging is something I'd like to see more of. I, I I think that the I don't next know why it's not charging, yeah I don't know why it's not flipping standard now 
Like, yeah. especially because yeah. the iPhone charger just breaks all the time. It's so annoying. But the one next to my bed now is like on its last legs. You know, when like the, the metal bit's Frame. exposed yeah. and it's like all bent. It's ready to go at any time. <laughs> it's still working well though. I've had ones that are in a better condition that have like snuffed it. But this one is hanging on. <laughs> is it? I'm this like, one's got, yes. It's got heart. Yeah, this, this one's, one's got, got heart. Yeah, it's the loyal one. It's yeah. sticking with me. Shout out to all the chargers out there that be working hard for their owners. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. Um, my, speak- missus, sorry, my missus bought the... Um, because she got sick and tired of yeah. it happening. She's got yeah. the like three meter one because yeah. it's less likely okay. to happen with the really long one. So and, and then she bought a mad expensive one that like sits in a stone. Don't know if you've seen these. It like sits in a little bit of marble. What? It, it, it's not a, it's not a uh, official iPhone one, but you can buy it in the Apple shop. And uh, it's like it comes with a little square bit of marble that's got like a hole in it. Yeah. And then the wire is like three meters long. And then it, like in the wire somewhere, it's got like a round, a bit like this one on my keys. Let me, let me get my keys out for added effect. You see, you see this like round bit on my keys. Yeah, it's, the it's the same like, brand. It's like a knot. Yeah. It's the same brand. The brand ain't on here, which is, which is useful. So I can't even say the brand. Oh, here we go. It's a native union. There you go. And this like round knot thing it like sits in the square bit of marble, which has got a, a bit a, a hole mm-hmm. the same size as the knot, so that it like you can put it on your nightstand and your phone doesn't like slip down the bed or whatever. All right, but it's it's like mad expensive. Like the one she bought, money to burn. It's like sixty quid money for, for a, a fucking charger. charger. I know. Oh, I'm like, no fam, sense. the charger better go to the shop for me. You right. get me? Yeah. Does it come with a pair of trainers? Yeah. Wow. Let me just put my keys back. Does it come with someone to plug it in for you? But, um, yeah. So with this stuff is cool. I mean, speaking of the leads and stuff, the, this uses micro USB. So luckily, I had the case. Uh, which came with a charger. I had the base, which came with the micro USB, and the carving things which came with a micro USB. So you have got to be ready to like, kind of get rid of your iPhone charging cables because you ain't really going to need them. No, no, I'm not getting rid of it's them. A lot of, it's a lot of change around. I've got to admit, and um, this is either a good thing or a bad thing. I did notice it's it's a big case. Like the iPhone is quite slim. It's a big case. So if if you're somebody who who's got small hands. Maybe pick another juice pack that's slightly smaller. Me, he's I've such a show off. This guy, hands. yeah. Listen nah, to this, nah, 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 nah. yeah, yeah. No, if you're someone who's got small <laughs> hands, though, but the case <laughs> was a problem for me, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The fit, it was like tiny in my hands. You get yeah. me, big dick, big dick, babe, 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 babe. What I'm saying is, is my my dick ain't small. I just got big hands in it. That's what it is. That's what it is, babe. Um, so yeah, man, I like I liked it. Um, but yeah, in terms of weight and size, it's not the it's not the lightest thing to roll with. But yeah, it packs a punch of juice, man. So that's the Mophie case. Liked it, man. Liked it. Check it out at howtokinanhour.com forward slash blog, and we'll also pop that other charger up that you mentioned as well, Nick, on the blog. Right, Bill? Beef in. Beef in between the chargers. Beef charger. Two, beef. Di- two different things though. One's a case and one's a wire. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Oh, in terms of dropping your phone all over the place as well, I do it all the time. Shit still works. My phone still works. So it passed that test. Good. Um, I missed the drop my phone. Um, right. So from that onto something that is um a bit different, Nick. Go on. Researchers have possibly found a way to cure a lot of diseases. Yeah. yeah. Too many for me to really name because there's a lot of diseases. That can it'd be, be, it'd by this. be really boring as well. Yeah. And almost and help us even live forever. They're going to be using pig embryos to do this, Nick. Okay. Now, there isn't going to be some sort of human pig baby running around, but according to a study published in the journal called Cell, uh, researchers were able to successfully inject human... I think it says step cells here, but did you mean um, stem cells, Bill? Probably. Cheers, yeah, step cells. Human step cells, what they are is they're like like little steps that other cells use to climb up over to climb and build each other. Uh, Yeah, and and what they do is they go through little door cells as well into their little house cells. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, but human stem cells uh, into a pig embryo and grow some tissue. So this potentially uh, life-saving technique could be used to grow human organs like the heart or liver inside an actual pig and then whip those out of the pig and put them in humans. So... It could help so, us live for a very long time. So basically, the pig's just got to die for you, though. Yeah, man. That's why it's quite controversial, because, I mean, there's a lot of talk about stem cells, but then there's the, there's the fact that we're actually using pigs to grow to grow organs and whipping to them be out. Fair, and the pigs have no life. Look, to be fair, it's better growing an organ in a pig, then killing it, and then 
making bacon and food and stuff out of it because it served a purpose in life then isn't it you know mm. what i mean whereas now mm. we're just killing them and eating them what happens to the organs in a pig oh they're probably going sausages isn't it now well that's all the like the shit bits yeah sausage like the yeah. knuckles and the nails and sausage the, and, and, that, yeah. and, the, and the snout yeah but i mean i was actually thinking bacon as well nick i was thinking how much would the p- price of bacon drop now how much better would sundays be with twice as much bacon for the same amount of money spent Sundays would be very good. I mean, if you don't eat bacon, I mean, it's probably it probably makes zero difference to your life. <laughs> but not on a real though. Something that I'd be interested to know is why in a pig? Because the reason I ask this, on a serious note, now, yeah, there are religions in the world that don't eat bacon. So I doubt they're going to want an organ if they don't eat the bacon. I doubt they're going to want an organ that has been grown inside a pig mm. to be then put into their body. You know of, what I mean? Of course, yeah. And there are many religions that they don't even agree with that sort of level of intrusive surgery. So, yeah. But I mean, I can't, suppose can't you just grow be... it in any animal? Like, nah, why does it have to be a pig? I think pigs are very close genetically to us when it comes to the way the organs are. Like, I don't think this is the first case where they've grown stuff in and around pigs or use pigs uh, cells because they are very close to us so that's, so if they're going to make something work make it work in a pig and then whip it in us yeah to be fair a couple of my exes right. do look like pigs so I can see <laughs> oi, where you're coming oi. from yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's b- all of his exes <laughs> Nick just <laughs> cussed all of his exes if you're Nick's right ex, if you're Nick's right oh, 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 oh. Um, but yeah would you so I suppose it's case by case so yeah if you, if you don't eat pig you're not likely to put, put a bit of pig in you but I mean, say it was you, Nick, human embryo, uh, pig embryos used to grow an organ. Say your ticker's going, your heart's going. Would you take it? Would you take a pig heart? I think I would, you know. Bruv, I want to live forever. I'm taking that. Yeah. I'm taking that like shit straight away. <laughs> Give me the pig heart. Even if you don't need it. Like, Nick's thinking, bruv, heart's hurting a bit from the running yeah. I've been doing recently. Can I, can I have a couple of pig hearts, please? I'm just hoarding. Just I'm just hoarding pig hearts, pig lungs, pig, pig livers, yeah. pig kidneys, pig yeah. intestines. Yeah. But I mean, like, pig brains probably can't go that far. The thing is, surely you can't live forever because your brain will... You know, like, things like Alzheimer's yeah, and yeah. dementia. Yeah. Like, you just wouldn't know what planet it was. You might live forever, <laughs> but you just wouldn't know what the hell is going on because, obviously, like, you can't grow another brain because your brain is your brain. You'd be this Frankenstein sort of craziness. I don't know. That would be... the. I think the next thing is is to, is to keep the brain going. How do we stop deterioration? Yeah, yeah. Because basically well, your body photocopies itself all the time and we all know if you photocopy a photocopy, eventually it looks shit. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how we get old, basically. Did you watch Black Mirror on Netflix, the latest series when that dropped? I've only watched the first episode of the first season that dropped and I was like... On, when that was on Channel 4? Yeah, on Channel 4. And when the new season came out on Netflix, I was like, yeah, go on. I missed it the first time around. Everyone told me I shouldn't have missed it. I watched the first episode and I was like, I need a walk. I need a Bruh. walk after seeing that. After seeing the pig serve a purpose that it really shouldn't have. I'm trying to think of what episode you're on about. It's, the, it's not the first one. With, when, one where it was, it was shockingly like the story that we heard about David Cameron fucking a pig. Or with his cock in a pig's is this, mouth. Is this the new series? Though? No, I've only watched the first se- series of the, of the original oh, Channel I 4 remember. one. I remember. That was too long ago for and me. And I was like, I don't need this in Marcus my life. Marcus is living in like six years in the past <laughs> over there. He's going to start talking about Nokia's in a minute. What? That's the phone I've got right now. What? What's your BB pin, bro? <laughs> like, no, the new series, right? There's an episode in the new series where, because you ain't seen it, I don't want to spoil it for you, but the general premise is that in the future you will be able to sign up to this service where it's just like a massive a, a massive kind of center that's just got bare servers in there and your 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 thoughts and your whole being you know can be downloaded when you die this is downloaded from your like body into this um into this server and you live in this world um, but it feels very real. It's not like virtual reality or anything like that. It's, it's almost like what we're doing right now, this could be that world and we wouldn't even know it kind of thing, if that makes sense. Are, to they, are they conscious all the time that they're in it or is it kind of like the Matrix? 
Well, this is the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm totally spoiling it for you if you haven't seen it because I'm basically go, giving away the whole plot of this episode. But um, it, can you not spoil it for me and tell me? Is it possible? Well, I've just told you. Like you'll know what you like because you don't. You don't know the twist. I've just told you the twist. Oh, already. Oh, fuck. The twist is it's that world. Spoiler alert. But yeah, so it's like the Matrix. It's what not is like the Matrix. Real? It's How not, do you define real? It's not you like think the that's air you're breathing. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. I've, got, I've, run out, I've got any more lines. You're getting gassed from the Matrix over here. Alice, I can't remember what you said. Something about Alice going down a rabbit hole. Follow Alice down a rabbit. In the Matrix, there's something about following Alice down a rabbit hole. Mate, you ain't been watching the Matrix. I've bro. watched the Matrix, You've been man. Watching the porn Matrix. Nobody makes the first jump. What other one-liners? Um. Um, so long ago oh, I know Kung Fu There we go Mr. Anderson Mr. Anderson Agents Yeah that's it that's I've, what they I've call run it, out of my one liners now um, Anyway Should we carry on talking about Neo <laughs> Sorry Nick <laughs> Nick's about to storm out yeah, right, I'm going <laughs> No 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 Black Mirror like, yeah. just Basically just, just watch it It's, it's good and, and like Maybe they will Maybe they will do that in the future You'll be able to download your thoughts And Like what they need to do, basically the point I want to make is what they need to do to truly live forever is be able to download your thoughts and then just insert them into a, a, new, a newborn baby. Okay. Would you would you be cool with that? I'm would down. you be cool with that? I'm I'm down. Like like as long as cuz if they get to, if they get it to the stage where they can download your thoughts, yeah. it will clearly be at the stage where cloning is on cuz yeah. they're already nearly there. They're cloning fucking sheep and stuff already yeah so if they can clone me bring me back as a newborn baby so I look the same because I don't want to look different like this is the thing like everybody hates certain things about the way they look and they want to improve it and shit like that but like I don't want to look different I want to look how I look you get me so like download my thoughts insert that into a new version of me and yeah sorted wicked alright fair enough well you know what Nick Maybe this will be something that could happen in this world. I hope so. Maybe this will be something that could happen in this world. There's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you for killing some time with us. We'll be killing some time with you again shortly. Right. Safe. Bye. <laughs>